Hi, I'm Dave Hill from Penn State Extension. Today I want to demonstrate the effects of a dust explosion. We have built this model behind me to use in our feed mill and grain elevator fire programs that we conduct to our local fire companies in our agriculture rescue training programs here at Penn State University. Dust explosions can be very devastating, not only to the operators of businesses that make dust, like feed mills, grain elevators, furniture manufacturers, but also to the fire company personnel that arrive on scene to manage a fire caused by a dust explosion. For a dust explosion to occur, you need dust. That dust needs to be put in suspension. It needs to be in a contained area. You need a heat source and you need a supply of air. Our model will supply all of these ingredients in a controlled setting. As you watch the demonstration, you will see our heat source and then you'll see a dust we have put in suspension with a shot of air. This will cause the initial explosion in our first containment room over here. This explosion will blow into our second room where it will pick up more dust before consuming the larger room with flame. Finally, the pressure will blow through a panel we have underneath our shanty up here. The entire explosion event will take less than two seconds to occur. We will show it to you in real time and then we'll show it to you in slow motion so you can see it in greater detail.